Okay, so JavaScript preferences quote style. Preferred quote style to use for quick fixes. Single quotes, double quotes, or auto infer quote type from existing imports. Requires, requires using TypeScript to TypeScript 2.9 or newer in the workspace. So the auto option uh, tries to infer the quote type from existing imports. Single quotes force, forces that to single quotes and double quotes forces that to double quotes. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. So if we have, uh, if we make VS Code automatically add a new import, and this is what this pertains to, it's going to add a new import uh, and because this is set to out to auto, um, VS Code will try to infer what's being used before and do the same. So uh, single quotes are being used, so it, it's going to add automatically add this import statement with single quotes as well. Now um, you can also use double quotes, which would be kind of weird, but it would do this. Or single quotes. Right, so uh, my preference is actually single quotes. Um, I don't want my, well, I guess single quotes and auto would be the same thing because I always use single quotes. Um, but I want to force single quotes in JavaScript whenever I can, unless we're uh, talking about. Uh, HTML and HTML to be semantically correct, I mean to be syntactically correct needs needs to have double quotes. But um, by default, I would rather use single quotes in JavaScript because or TypeScript because that makes the code a little bit cleaner, uh, a little, little bit more elegant. So I'm going to leave. The, by the way, this um, setting has a lot of context to it, right? So if you, I explained that in, in the last video about the import module specifier setting, but in case you just dropped in this in this video right, right here, I'm going to give a brief uh, contextualization of this setting. So um, by default, VS Code will interpret your JavaScript files uh, as standalone files. And uh, if you have import statements, VS can go and read those files to give you a little bit, a little bit more context, but it's not going to read other types of files. For example, if I don't, if I don't have an import statement for the add new price, um, and by default, this add new price suggestion would not appear. So what makes it appear? What makes it appear is um, having a JS, JS config.json file in my project. So having a JS config.json file, even if it's empty, if, even if it has nothing in it, well, it's it's a message for uh, to VS Code saying this is a whole JavaScript project and you can scan all the files so, so that you can give me more contextualization. And that contextual context uh, contextualization would be something like suggesting um, uh, a class, right, that, uh, or a component in this case, for which I don't have any import statements directly in this file. So, but it knows about, about that because it scanned the whole the whole project. Now, um, also, you need to have the JavaScript suggest auto imports settings set to true. Otherwise, uh, you're not gonna, going to use. VS Code will not create the auto uh, the import statements for you automatically, so it doesn't really matter if you're using what setting you use in quote style because it's it's not going to happen. So, <clears throat> with all that said, because I have a JS config.json file, VS Code scans all the files, which means he can uh, give me suggestions for these components. Um, and then when I select that, oh, I guess I need to select that using a tab or an enter, it's going to automatically add the import statement right there. All right, so I'm going to force um, the quote style to single quotes.